Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex today, and I'm joined in studio with my fellow nightly news reporter, Jakari Jackson. And we're taking your calls on a variety of subjects. Just before the break, we had a caller asking us what we thought about the pension fraud story, if we thought it might possibly be related to the 9-11, what we believe is a conspiracy there. But I asked him a question. I wanted to know what he thought about Rachel Maddow at MSNBC starting to talk now about the FBI assassinating a witness in the Boston bombing and CNN actually questioning the government's official story. Yeah, I was Typically, shocked. they're the ones who put out the government's official mm -hmm. story. I mean, it, it was amazing when the Boston bombing was happening. We would question details of the narrative, and a half hour later, we would, oh, it's almost like uh, CNN was responding. It was, like it was kind of surreal. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was pretty surreal. But they were the spokespersons for what was going on with the Boston bombing, and now, I guess, to try to bolster their credibility, they're questioning it. What do you make of that, caller? Um, Timmy, Timmy in Texas? Yeah. David, it's like you say, uh, you know, every every uh, every day on y'all's introduction, they're on the run. We got them on the run. The InfoWars is uh, defeating uh, the dinosaur media. Um, one more thing uh, on that previous story I covered, uh, Victoria Cavalier with Reuters is who wrote that story, Jakar. You said you'd uh, want to look into it. It's just, uh, you know, when, uh, when big corporate bankers um, violate or have some sort of fraud against them, there's a hearing on it. They're not arrested immediately. And there's over 100 firefighters and policemen that have been arrested. So it just really... Uh, it just seems really uh, sketchy, I guess you could say. Yeah. And uh, one yeah. last thing, guys. Uh, I got to meet y'all there at the Alamo. Uh, Jakari, you were wandering around, lost, trying to find the march. And uh, I ran into you with a buddy of mine. So oh, hey. it's good to meet you guys. Uh, David, I had mentioned to you about the the uh, uh, the Secret Service agent swabbing his children for some odd reason. I don't know if you remember that conversation. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, but uh, it's good to talk to you guys. And uh, remember, the guy I was with, Jakari, his, his name's Sean, and he's super trendy. <laughs> all right, all right, thanks. Well, thanks, Timmy, and thanks for showing up at the Alamo. You know, we have to stand up for our freedoms or we lose them. And it's very, very important for us to stand on the freedoms that the government recognizes. They recognize so few. And when it's legal to open carry a yeah. rifle and the police are harassing people for that because they want to make the public, they've, they've gone on record, Eric Holder has said that he wants to brainwash the public. Mm -hmm. They want everyone to be afraid, not only of the sight of guns, but the sight of Feinstein, someone with a gun. Joe Biden, and I'm, I'm glad uh, the caller brought that up, the Alamo, because everybody asks, you know, you know, we go out here, we fight every day, we get on the show every day. You know, what progress is being made? That's progress going out to the Alamo because we had a police chief who said he was gonna arrest anybody who came out there with a gun. You had 1,000 plus people show up with guns, that's a victory. When the food babe comes on here mm -hmm. and says Subway needs to take the stuff out of the food, that's a victory. When you have the Hernandez family in San Antonio, Texas, saying that we're not gonna wear your RFID tags, they fight it out, uh, Catherine Albrecht gets involved, they win, that's a victory. Victories happen every day, yeah. but you don't see this on your mainstream network, so people just think we're just banging our head against the wall. And occasionally, we knock a hole through that wall, bust through it, and get the bad guys out of there. It, it can happen, but you have to be persistent. You can't give up and just be encouraged and keep going at it. That's right. You've got Rachel Maddow, who's gone from laughing That's at Alex victory. Jones and yeah. making up all kinds of bizarre accusations about, I mean, he's just questioning the government's official story. Now she's questioning the government's official story. That's a huge turnaround. Mm -hmm. Let's go to uh, Jerry in Ohio. He said you want to talk about farmers and the New World Order. Jerry? Yeah, how you doing? Uh, I'm a longtime listener, and I think you guys have been doing a wonderful job. I just wanted to get that out to you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. You guys are, are, are excellent watchmen. You're letting people know what's happening and what to expect. And uh, I was just wanting to let you know, uh, I've been living in northeastern Ohio for most of my life, and it's looking more and more like I'm living in communist China uh, they are pressuring the farmers up here. Uh, they are building housing allotments right next to farms, and then people are, are, are complaining that uh, they can smell the cows, they can yeah. hear chickens, they can hear pigs. I mean, <laughs> they're really just trying to crowd the farmers out. Yeah, that's you right. Got these 
Let's uh, hang on. We're going to talk about that. This L.A. Times story has a very interesting contradiction between what people want in terms of fresh food and what they think about farms. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hang on, Jerry. We'll come right back to you. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with fluoride shield. I use fluoride shield every day. Secure your fluoride shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off super male vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show on this Thursday, February 27th, 2014. I'm David Knight. I'm filling in for Alex Jones. I'm joined here in studio with Jakari Jackson. And we've been taking your calls. And just before the break, we were talking to Jerry in Ohio. We were talking about farmers. And uh, I asked him to hang on over the break We've got this article from the LA Times talking about planned food safety rules attacking organic farmers. Listen to what they said. They interviewed a guy, his name is Jim Crawford. He's an organic farmer, and he said that the FDA came to him and said, this is my badge, these are the fines, this is what's hanging over your head, and we want you to know that. Just pure intimidation. What are they intimidating them about? Well, they're intimidating them over using natural fertilizer. You know, what we call manure. And it's being pushed by, of course, big agra, big corporations. Mm. It's also being pushed by NGOs like the Center for Science and the Public Interest. They're pushing the FDA not to yield to these family farmers, but to shut them down. This is the last statement he had to say. And then I want to get uh, Jerry in Ohio's uh, comments on this. This is what Jim Crawford, the guy that they talked to, said. He said, the public loves to love and idealize us little family farmers, but the vast majority of us are hanging by a thread. Now the government is saying, we're going to put a lot more weight on that thread. What do you think about that, uh, Jerry, in Ohio? 
Yeah, uh, like I was telling you, the uh, they have these township people, and they drive around, and they're like little mini Nazis. Uh, if you have a compost bin, if you don't go to get a permit to have one, they come out and they take pictures uh, of it, and uh, wow. they, they oh, the green police, a... the green police, like what's that? That Audi commercial? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a, a creating an America that is filled with snoops. Oh, in so many different ways, we see America turning into East Germany. I talked to William Binney, who was the technical director globally of the NSA until he resigned right after 9-11 because he saw the government violating the restrictions that had been put on them about foreign intelligence surveillance, that they were to keep it foreign. He was somebody who has spent his entire life watching people in the watching the government in the Soviet Union watching the government in East Germany and he said that we are becoming exactly like them we're going down that path and it's not just the government spying on people but it's the the citizens the who got this culture exactly that's what they did in East Germany it was getting the citizens to report on each other now of course they got the technology and it makes it even worse oh, but it's just creating this snitch mentality which is what uh, you're talking about Jerry and also uh, here in Northeast Ohio, they're putting in like these little mini highways through all these small towns, and they're cutting back all the trees, and they're putting in all these cameras. Uh, yeah. What I was told was that when the uprisings begin and when the cities are burning, that the military are actually going to use the small towns surrounding these big cities uh, to set up command posts. Yeah, and uh, also uh, I've seen uh, some FEMA places also popping up up here. Well, we know that they're training for insurgency within the United States. That's why they just spent a hundred million dollars on a fake U.S. city. That's more detailed than they've ever done with any of their urban yeah, warfare. And the bullets and the targets, the yes. targets of little children, the targets of pregnant women. It's all coming home, and they got cameras all over. They got you know forty plus downtown Austin. They need more. They're saying if we had more cameras, we wouldn't have fights, you know, like the oh, yeah. video, even though there's a camera right where the, the video is taking place. Well, they don't like you taking pictures of them, though. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. And we just reported on the nightly news that Cisco is competing with IBM in order to create a physical information highway. They're actually going to, you've heard of the Internet of Things. That's where they're connecting our appliances, everything to the Internet which, as Petraeus told us a couple of years ago, is going to go. Dishwasher. Exactly. So it's going to feed right to us. Well, now they want to do that with the roads. They want the roads to, quote unquote, provide you Internet and social media contact. But then, of course, they're also going to have tracking, tracking. They're going to uh, of every aspect of your life. They're going to look at your license plate. They're going to have that in a database. So even after Paul Joseph Watson exposed the fact that or it was kid, I forget which one of our writers found the story, but. They saw a, an RFP from the Department of Homeland Security to create a license database, a car license mm -hmm. database. Exactly. And then they, that went viral, and within a couple of days, uh, DHS Homeland Security said, no, no, we're, we're, we're drawing we're, that. We're withdrawing that, but we have and something yet, worse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And yet at the same time, you see in the tech uh, world, you see these reports that IBM and Cisco are competing against each other as to who's going to provide the physical information highway that's going to collect all this information, all this data on you, just in the name of, we're going to make it easy for you. We're going to let you have internet all the time in your car. You're oh, going to so, be able to, yeah, to watch it. The, when you go to these cities, these downtown centers, and they say they have the free Wi-Fi, you know, they can spy on you while you're using their thing. And mm -hmm. I'm talking about the license plate scanners. Now they have police cruisers, I guess they've had them for a while, that can read your license plate. They're just driving around scanning everybody, violating your Fourth Amendment. They have no reason, no probable cause to search you. Also, the red light cameras can do this as well. Yeah, and, and they, want, they want you to be able to surf the internet and tell them what you're thinking while you're driving along in your driverless car. Yes. Okay, which you no longer have control over that anymore either. Let's go to uh, Tony in Idaho. You wanted to talk about the family? We were talking about that earlier, Tony. Yeah, uh, good to talk to you guys. Uh, I, I heard Glenn Beck when he was talking about the little girl that uh, uh, what all they had doing to her. I, I hadn't heard that they had put her in foster care, though. Uh, what the government does is they're manipulating the law to kind of justify themselves to do a lot of this stuff, and they do it through registration. Mm -hmm. the peop they, they bring the people up in the schools, and the people aren't taught the law. They don't know what the government's doing or how the government's manipulating the law. But basically, when you allow your baby to be registered 
with a birth certificate, you're registering that child to the government. And once yeah. you do that, then the, the, the maximum of law.